Okay, day two of Halloween week, and this time we're going to look at blocking out the whole of the witch's body. So this is where we use a rough layout, and we quickly bash out the shape that we want to use for the witch, and we use that as our layout to do everything else. So, day two then, so we're making a witch for Halloween. We've got a broomstick. We've got um, this bit here, which is the, the wooden part. If you want to, you can rename that now. So this would be broom. Clear it first of all, broom. Enter. And what was the other part? The other part was the um, this bit, which is the I don't know what they actually call it on a broom. Does anyone know what they call it on a broom? The I'm gonna call it sticks. I don't know whether I'm just having a a little bit of memory loss or what. I, what did they call that bit? Is that the the sweepy end? Anyway, would not get a job making an Invis 9000 because I can't remember what the sweepy end of a broom is called. So. Um, what we need to do now is stage two, day two. So we're going to do what's called a block out. And what I like to do there is make a new layer. And all of this lesson, all of day two, is going to be just let's block out our entire character. So it's very, very quick. It's very, very rough. It doesn't matter what tool you choose. We'll just use a sphere so that you get used to it. And we'll call it, um, we'll make it in a skin color. And all I'm going to do is literally just bash out the shape of a witch as fast as I can. Um, and I'm not going to use symmetry uh, at this stage. Now we could go back and use symmetry later once we've blocked it out. And this entire layer, in fact I'll use a colour that we know we won't use. So let's do like a, um, I don't know, greeny colour. There we go. So we're going to spray in the air up here. So let's just start with making are usually what we do is we make sure the size is right so we'll decrease the layers a little bit gives us more room to work like so um, you have to watch out I don't know whether you can see it on here the size of the the voxel grid they call it it matters so if you're on this broom bit the, look how small the voxel grid is there um, you don't have a lot of space to work in sometimes so it depends on how much of a resolution you, you you've got per layer so this one at the moment has got quite a lot because it's you know I, I I could scale it up I could scale it down it's fine once you get higher and higher resolution it becomes a problem so the witch is going to be mainly seen from this side she's going to be pointing at me here so her face is going to be here like this so let's bring decrease that layer a bit more I think what I might do is scale the whole thing up in a minute but we'll, we'll just work with this for now so it's a witch so I'm gonna have a massive nose and a chin do not judge anyone when they're just starting out with, with, with block outs. Because what we're doing here is we're laying stuff out. Look how bent that nose is. Okay, so we're almost doing a skeleton. So I almost want to say, right, here's a, here's a rib cage. None of this will be seen. This is just me laying stuff down. I'm going to delete a lot of it. I can't stress how important enough this this portion of the, of the of the session is because if you get to do this well and you're happy to, to, to that you can do this kind of thing then then you'll you'll improve because you won't be worrying too much about the detail so I've done an arm and an arm coming around here she definitely needs a hat a witch's hat so this will take me a minute just to make a hat and the hat would be up oh, down and round and it could be nothing like that when it's finished but that gives me something to play with let's move it down if you want to or delete it away if you want to so there we go let's have a look at her flying around so how does a witch sit on a broom I don't know do they do side saddle or do they do I haven't looked at reference for this which is quite interesting do they scooch on it like that or do they uh, do they have one leg down like this like it's driving a bike don't know I quite like what I've just done there actually with this this would be the pointy shoe so maybe she has one leg up and one leg down now it looks like she's running there we don't want that do we um, let me have a think about that um, 
the body would come round here and we would we know what's coming next up here because there's going to be a cape like so and what you can do is you can use other tools for that so you can just use any big flat tool like so so that's given us a cape to, or at the start of a cape she's going to have a bit more of a cape here now what we hadn't thought about is there will be a lot of clothing and that what have you down here so it'll be flapping around here around her or the you know around her legs so strangely enough i don't like that now so i'm just going to delete that you see me switching between the the shapes quite a lot i like the idea that her arm's coming out and she's got one finger pointing but i don't know why or what that will be um let's move all this down if i need to if i feel like it's if I'm getting detailing when I don't want detail, use the move tool if we feel we need to. This is where we'll get quite dynamic with it. There we go. I think the the the, the thing that I'm sticking with here, the thing that's really uh, holding me back at the moment is um, the legs, and it's quite interesting how you can. You can suddenly just get stuck on a little thing. I just, I just can't think how to do those legs at the moment. So um, I've got a feeling that I, I almost want to push them forward, but then another part of me thinks that they, they shouldn't be forward. So let's, let's just keep working, and maybe it will pop out. Normally, what happens with this kind of thing is the idea pops out. Um, I don't even, can't even think of whether they have. Yeah, they do have sleeves, don't they? I say they as if they're very, very real. Um, it's quite funny how mythical things just become, you know, part of everyday life. So you just, you know, you talk about them like you've seen one last Wednesday. Um, there we go. Hats coming together nicely. A bit like a sorting hat from Harry Potter. See how I'm using the negative as much as I'm using the positive. So I quite like. She's got a bit of a Quentin Blake look, and again, I haven't planned any of this yet, but I don't mind if the character starts to appear while we're doing this bit. And we might, as I said, we might switch symmetry on um, to do things like a head or a face. Um, but I'm not bothered yet. I'm just, I'm just literally just finding the shape. Um, Look, I have to use my own hand as reference. Look at that. So the hand would be like this. That's I've never even done that before. Look, the, 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 the hand is how I would want it. So round here, fingers round here, thumb round here, and delete all the rest. So we've got, uh, I've just invented something new, which is a, a hand reference tool inside, inside Adobe Medium. There you go. Maybe I should talk to them about putting more hand references in there we go so that's that's bashed out the hand shape the hand is going to be really crucial because I want that really gnarled look and um, so there'll be a lot more work to do on that um, we'll do another quick one here I definitely want the hand pointing I think I decided that already so we need this to come down here, and then we want this, these are the knuckles, and we want finger, joint, finger, joint, finger, up in the air, finger, joint, 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 finger, joint. there we go, and the wrist, ridge muscles coming over the top, to the elbow, Underneath, and then smooth it down. See how fast and loose you get with this. It's it's really about how quickly you can lay down these shapes and how confident you are with them as you as you're doing it. Again, that might be a bit too big there, that hand. So we can saw that off later on. Um, I'll teach you how to do that next, how to chop it up and maybe sculpt it next. Once we've got our block out done, and we've got a major problem here. I 
keep saying it. I don't know how to do these legs. So what can we do? She's got bloomers on, right? So maybe she's doing a wee sound and her legs are coming out like this. Wee. So let's give her bloomers. And we'll make them big purple and light purple bloomers. I like that idea. Suddenly I've got an idea coming. And then her legs are like sticks. Like this. Yeah, that's worked. That's worked for me. And then that means she has fat calves, but th super thin legs. Old sticks. Yep, yeah, like that as well. Yeah, suddenly it just popped in, didn't it? It just... And I, I, do you know, knowing me, that might change later on, but I'm not massively bothered. Uh, and then we'll do a shoe. I'm not even going to take any more time. Though. There we go. I'm feeling like we've got someone now. Too big, isn't she? She's way too big. So let's bring her down. Yeah, that's looking good. Suddenly, I start to feel confident now. So we were we were worried about it a minute ago or five minutes ago, and then this is the power of Oculus. Uh, no, it's not. It's the power of Adobe Medium coming to the fore. Um, maybe there should be a penalty for every time I say Oculus Medium. Um, maybe I should get some kind of a swear box. Let's use the move tool and twist it a little bit. No, twist it the other way. Yeah, I like that. So she's number one witch. And I'm liking the cape, which again, we might just completely delete it and start it up again. Um, no, happy with that. That's cool. So what you can see there is we've done what we call our initial block out. We've got the broom, we've got the witch, still not happy with her scale, or there's still lots we can change, tons we can change here. But we're happy with where we are with day two. So we've got like a really, really cool, um, well, not cool, but we've got, a, we've got a block out that means we can now start exploring all of that. Because I don't think the cape will change that much from what we've got. Um, maybe the pose a bit or something like that, but that, that would probably be cleaned up and work well. And I don't think her clothing will be a problem. We'll do the clothing next. Um, once we've done that, then we're well on the way. Um, so let's move on to day three and see how we get on. I hope you're enjoying this witch Halloween special. So this is a five part series and we're gonna work through the whole of the witch ending up with the the final render and some paint overs if you're enjoying this kind of content then please subscribe hit the notification bell and follow along we drop videos on a wednesday and a friday